glad to have you with us today. And today we're going to talk about how Texas have just passed a law to stop illegal migrants. Yep. Now, everyone knows what's going on in Texas and all the other border time. We have a migrant problem crossing to the border that hurts everyone, including especially the black community. Okay. Now, why is this very important? Why is this very, because Texas is just tired of it. They're the ones who started busing all the way to Chicago, New York. And now you see your fellow Democrats are just don't care about it. Now it's hurting them. And they, I'll give Eric Adams credit. You know, he called it like it is. And the federal government continues to ignore. We are being flooded by these migrants. I don't want to hear, and I don't want to hear anyone talk about asylum seekers. They're not asylum seekers. Asylum is is fleeing from war. They are fleeing for economic reason. Sorry, that's not a reason. Go back and help and fix the stuff in your country. You know what? And and you know that starts by electing the right people. You know, you got bad people in there. Go there and fix it. We America cannot take on everyone's problem i'm sorry it's just not what it is now in texas just just texas pretty much leading the battle with these migrant problems because they dealing with it and biden and the democrats choose to ignore this issue so you know what greg abbott who's the governor of texas he said you know what french toast you we're gonna go ahead and pass this law and on top of that we're gonna go ahead and put more money and put a border over a border so you got the federal border that's maintained by the federal. They're going to put another border in front of that. Okay. And I got clips to show you to go more in detail about the law. And of course, I'll pause every now and then to put my special sauce on it to give more context to the issue. But this is, hey, Texas, I'm room for you because guess what? If you could put a cap on that any kind of way, and don't worry, it's going to get challenged in court. They already, the Democrats already made moves to challenge the court. It's going to go to the Supreme Court. It's going to be a showdown. It's going to take um, probably probably it's going to take a very long time, several months to year. And it, that is if a federal court don't put an injunction on that. But either way, either who let's go ahead and switch screens. And you can see right here. And I'm sorry, I passed the wrong one. Um, which one was it? It was this one with Fox. The American Civil Liberty. Okay, let me go ahead and rewind it, and let's go ahead and roll the clip. The American Civil Liberties Union has filed a lawsuit against Senate Bill 4. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. Governor Abbott signed the border bill into law yesterday. Critics say it will lead to profiling by law officers in Texas. Fox 4 Stephen Dial is live. Profile from who? It's very simple. You're crossing the border. I see you cross the border. You're going to get arrested and deported. As it should be. I don't see what, what profile for whom you can't you're not concerned about the black community you can't be us you care about the migrants again this is what i'm talking about how they're prioritizing people that don't are not even american and we don't know if they even respect us they prioritizing again saying oh they could be discriminated excuse me <laughs> let's, let's the continue latest development steven we knew that there would be a legal challenge to SB4 weeks before Governor Abbott signed it, the ACLU saying that it sidesteps federal law and also, in their words, will create racial profiling. We expect a dramatic drop, well, well over 50 percent, maybe 75 percent of the people coming across the border illegally uh, will stop entering through the state I want of you to look at the video, folks. I want you to look. I want you to look. I'm going to rewind it. I want you to look. People who are my visual. I want you to see what they do. These migrants, they just run across the border. They just run. This is a police crew recording this. The Look at that. Look at that. They don't care. That is so disrespectful to the country. And then you have these Democrats and the ACLU is very left leaning, putting these solids and saying, we should treat the migrants much better. Ask Chicago how they feel. Ask New York how they feel about that. I don't know what the heck is going on with this administration. And I'm telling you, black black um, community, do not get Biden back in here because these migrants go, and I've done fan coverage. Matter of fact, I'm doing another follow-up about Chicago. You see what's happening in Chicago? 
pretty much everywhere else going to be Chicago if they don't get this border in control. Okay. Let's continue. Well, as his backdrop Monday, Governor Greg Abbott signed Senate Bill 4 into law. The law empowers Texas officers to arrest a person they suspect crossed into the state illegally. We're suing to block one of the most extreme anti-immigrant bills in the country. The Excuse me, ma'am, they're not immigrant, they're migrants. Would begin in 2024. Tuesday, the ACLU filed a lawsuit claiming the border law would lead to racial profiling. The bill overrides bedrock constitutional principles and flouts federal immigration law while harming Texans, in particular, brown and black communities. What are you talking about? The migrants, what is this lady on? What is she talking about? See, the ACLU is another left-leaning Democrat um, organization. What is she smoking? What do you mean racial problem? This is her, I mean, we're already being discriminated, but this migrant problem is hurting our communities. Those, br those black communities are going to be harmed if you continue to let these people flow. Just flow like water. Don't care. And they're going to take the jobs away from the black communities as well. You're so concerned. She got a beehive up her, up her butt. That's what she got. Ooh, she couldn't have said that in front of my face. I would have told her all. What is she smoking? Don't you see what's happening in Chicago, New York? All We're getting harmed by them. They're taking our resources from our very eye and giving to people that are not even uh, migrant. First of all, they're not immigrants. They're migrant. Immigrants do it the right way. They apply and get their card or whatever um, do the legal way. They're called immigrants. Migrants are just that. They're migrating and fleeing their other country for economic reasons. It's not from war or persecution. It is from economic reasons. Because their countries fell and all this stuff. Instead of them going back and they need to fix it. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you, don't get Biden them in there. They ain't going to do nothing about this border problem. They don't care. So the state had to get involved and say, you know what? F the French toast, F the um, federal government, we're going to do the state government. This is what happened. This is, the this is how federalism works. True power, the balance. The federal government and the state, the federal government ignored, so the state government is going to step in and protect their citizens. What are they going to do? They just catch and releasing them. What's she smoking? She will... Language of SB4 look at him running. Look, just look. Is detained, they will appear before a judge. The judge could allow the migrant to be returned to a port of entry, or they could face jail time. Dallas County leader. They need to just go. They need to return to the port and get them go. And Mexico don't care. Because they, they're coming all the way. We know where they're coming from. We just can't do this. We can't. That's a slap to the face to people who done it the right way. Spent out. Well, I want to. I mean, I know people, and some of my former core workers. You know, they they went through the right way. It took them two, three years, paid thousands of dollars, but they did the right. That's a slap in the face to them. The federal government, the current administration, just saying, "F the law. We're going to do what we want." Telling you, black community, do not get these Democrats back in here. This is what's happening. They let me flow. The federal government don't give a crap. They're prioritizing them over you, American citizens, American veterans. They are homeless. Pose the bill, saying it could lead to overcrowding of jails. It opens the door for the potential of biased policing. When we talk to no, 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 it doesn't. Even though, I mean, there are laws already about Terry Stop stuff like show your paper. I don't want to get back to that. Terry Stop's already, you know, unconstitutional, right? But I think what they meant, like, and I have to read the bill. Maybe we'll do another follow up as I read the bill. I'm going to read the bill, but this is based on the news thing. You know how we do it. We re I re read the bills. And what happens is that it's very simple, really. You got the state, you got border towns, right? I see them doing this mostly for border towns. I see them, even though the law does extend every state and local police officer in the state of Texas, but you're going to see them really happening at these border towns. And and more likely, they're going to see, because they're going to be right there where, with the border patrol. 
And heck, the border patrol might hand them over per prosecute because they can't prosecute. They might work together, but Biden says they can't do anything. But if they see him cross the city border town, they're gonna send him right back. What else can he do? What else can he do? Biden doesn't care. You had even Brandon Johnson and all these other Democrat mayors going and pleading for Biden. Biden don't care. County Sheriff Bill Wayburn, he told me he sees the law as being a tool for law enforcement in border counties only. It's very exactly. This is a tool for the peace officers on the border and the judicial on the border. And uh, I don't see any impact in Tarrant County or north of the border. To be clear, the law empowers any officer anywhere in the state. Tuesday, the president of Mexico also said his country is going to challenge the law. The Mexican president added that he thinks Governor Abbott is angling for a White House position. That Mexican president need to sit down. He got some nerve. Why don't you, before you criticize us, why don't you fix your own damn country? You got people, you see them coming over here. You got the cartel and all this stuff, um, paying them thousands of dollars to come over and cross our border. They come right through Mexico. They know they're not stupid. You see what I'm saying? The Mexican president is wrong on that. He got some damn nerve, the audacity to criticize us, particularly Texas. And you got a problem going on in your darn country. You got these migrants coming in here by the butler. You see it coming in every day, but you choose not to do anything. See, if I was president, this would have been up this in the bud. I would say, no, 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 we're gonna come here. I tell you what, it's a problem. We're just gonna we're gonna sanction we're gonna put sanctions against you. It's simple as that. You see these people coming directly, coming through Mexico. You need to close down your border and the border down there by Panama. Y'all need to close it. Cause they're coming right through Mexico. And you choose not to do nothing about. I would sanction you really hard. Because you are harming our country. get it under control that's what other countries do especially with their neighboring um, countries they see something's going in and go say hey come here uh, we got a problem here let's talk about this let's negotiate and i'm pretty sure the u.s and mexico they've been lifelong neighbor they can negotiate this maybe put some funding together to negotiate all this stuff to stop this from happening because they sorry if you're pursuing for economic america ain't here for you but these democrats have made it known to the world to come here, we'll take care of you. We have shelter and play in sanctuary cities. Hmm. With his actions. In 2012, the U.S. Supreme Court rejected most of an Arizona law dubbed the Show Me Your Papers law. Now, that law was very unconstitutional. The they did that wrong with Arizona. Challenged in court. We believe this law has been crafted in a way uh, that can and should be upheld by the courts on his own without having to overturn the Arizona case. Yesterday, Governor Abbott also signed a bill that would send more than a billion dollars to continuing to build the border wall on te in Texas. Stephen Dye Live, Stephen, thank you. And Texas is right. They're gonna do it their own thing. They said, you know, we ain't gonna get any help until Biden gets out of office and it's possible that Biden's gonna get another four years but it won't happen if the black community do not get this guy in power like i like i said you got many choices and i'm gonna explain your choices again okay and i'm not no republican i'm definitely not no darn democrat i don't belong to no party i already said it before i'm a libertarian i might even, i might be registered as a libertarian i don't want to belong to no party i believe in libertarian principle however i'm a black man first so black so black pens were gonna come first before the libertarian principles. That's just the way it is. Uh, I'm gonna explain the choices again. Number one, you vote Republican as a protest vote. Number two, you vote third party. Number three, you just sit it out. Do not give your vote to these Democrats. Cause you see what Biden, you see what this tech, the state of Texas had to do. They're a major border border state and you see what the link that texas had to do they said not only they did the busing to show everybody but now they got has a law that says you know what after federal government we're going to go ahead and arrest them and send them back 
and we're giving the, the police the power to do so. Because your Border Patrol are just going to sit there and watch TV all day. They can't do anything. Now, in the next clip, I want to show you the numbers. This clip is going to explain the numbers, okay? This is insane. I'll just watch. And the battle over immigration at the U.S. border with Mexico continues, and one state is not waiting for Congress or the Biden administration to act. Texas has a new law that allows the state to arrest people suspected of crossing the border illegally. And Rightfully as our so. MP reports, it sets the stage for an immigration policy showdown. From the campaign trail to the halls of Congress, the fight over security at the southern border. Asylum is not a human right. If you are applying for asylum as, a, as, as an economic reason, you don't have the right to that. You just don't. Go back and fix your own, fix your country. America cannot take on all these problems. You're draining resources from us and the black neighborhoods to, to fix something that you're fleeing because you can't get in the right people in place. Come on. The clock is ticking down to get a funding bill passed that also includes aid to Israel and Ukraine. Finding the middle ground is exceptionally hard. But you Both see, do you see, that they will have you see, do you, well, I want you to hear folks, the priority of, of the U.S. Congress right now is funding aid, the Senate, and this is Chucky Chucky crying Schumer, okay, providing aid to his nation state, Israel and Ukraine. That's what's important instead of closing the border. And that's why that bill is going to be a big nothing but because the House, uh, majority of the um, Speaker of the House is saying, Okay, you we ain't gonna get nothing until you put in something for the border. Rightfully so. Concessions. We cannot afford to get this wrong. On Monday, Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott signed two border bills into law. One providing one point five billion dollars to build new barriers along the southern border. Yep. The other makes it a state crime. Now that if I remember correct correct if I'm wrong. I think that was challenged before when they took away the stuff they put in the board they enhanced it so that's definitely going to get challenged in court but they're going to never let they're going to do something because by the time the courts do their thing they're going it's going to be all it is what it is this is just how slow our court system is across the border illegally giving local law enforcement greater authority critics say that could lead to racial profiling biden's racial profile for who the migrant they're not citizens they're not American citizen. And again, I'm going to point this home. They disrespect the country by coming over here. They don't care about our laws. How do we know they're good or bad? And for folks to say we should take care of it, okay, why don't you do it first? You do it first. You open your door, don't unlock the door, put a big sign outside, say migrants are welcome, and take care of them. See how that work out. You don't know if they're good or bad. We do. In action. <sighs> has left Texas to fend for itself. The move comes as He's data right. obtained by CBS News shows last week the Border Patrol apprehended nearly 7,900 people each. 7,900 people per day. That's daily. That's how many people. Do you understand that? In black community, pay attention. 79 people that um, daily is going to be it's going to be bad. They're going to take your resources, jobs, and everything. This is bad. Let's continue. Up from 6,000 daily. Up from 6,000 from October. So you got, so basically what the train is saying, folks, is that, you know, what they're saying is that the train is that the migrants are not stopping. Matter of fact, there's more people coming. 70, they're up from six, they're up to 7,900, up from 6,000 daily in October. That means it's increasing. Like I said, you got a faucet and you just let it run and let it flow it's just going to continue not stopping until you turn off the faucet it's just going to continue to flow and flow and flow wake up people especially my black community wake up these democrats gotta go they got to go see what's happening in chicago you see what's going on they're prioritizing migrant this is the democrats this is not the republican and french toast your racial profile migrants are not american citizens they come over here and disrespect our laws then you're going to say like that woman from the aclu they're going to say oh it's hurting black and 
black community. Okay, well then, no, no, no crap. Of course it's hurting us, but you're going to defend the migrants instead of saying that it's wrong. Biden needs to do something. Biden and the Democrats. But again, they ain't going to do anything until he is out of office. And the only people, and I'm telling you right now, the only people capable of getting this man out of office is the black community. We are the biggest voting bloc for the Democrat Party. We have all the power. We do not need to give him our vote. And I'm telling you, black, my black community, if you put Biden and Harris in office, that's it. It's over for us. I'm telling you right now. And I'm going to say, I told you so. And at that point, you say, you know what? Everybody defend themselves. We have to come together as a people and get these folks out of here that are anti-black. The Democrats. Biden and Democrats. He already said, remember what he said. If and I don't care. I don't care. And all those other shields, you tell them, you know, um, I, we don't care. I don't want to hear no talks about the Republican harming us. We do not vote for the Republicans. We only vote for the Democrat 90% of the time. I don't want to hear nothing. The Democrats are hurting. These, their policies are hurting us. To the point that Texas had to come up with their own laws. And if and it's proven other border states might create their own little laws. What can we do? The federal government, the Biden administration refused to address this issue. And, they, and this issue hurts the black community, which we are your biggest voting bloc. They do not care. They're just anti-black. You know, black, black community, y'all have the power to change the course in 2024. Do not vote for these Democrats. Do not vote for Biden. Don't vote for these Democrats. They got to go. They are harming us. They are hurting us. It's time we rise up. It's just time. Enough is enough. This migrant crisis ain't going away, but it will go away in 2024 if you get Biden out that White House. He's got to go.